What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Today is day three of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge um, where we're doing like a 14 day re recommitment or restart, kickoff, whatever you want to call it, um, to a keto lifestyle and um, we're putting a little twist on it this time with some alternate day fasting. So today is a keto day. Um, I, that means it's just my normal keto day, how I normally would approach it, and that means I'm doing intermittent fasting until noon. So my first meal of the day will be, will be lunch. Um, I wanted to explain that <laughs> um, in case there was any confusion. I, I guess I do fasting every day, but because it's, you know, it's just my thing and I have success with it, I am continuing to do fasting on my keto day. Um, but it's just intermittent fasting. Um, if you want to skip the fasting altogether in this cha challenge, go for it. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. This is just something I'm exper experimenting with. And the more that I experiment with things and see how it impacts me, the more I learn about me. So I highly suggest you do that too. All right. So day three. <laughs> Um, you should probably start feeling better. Um, usually like my day two, I kind of feel like this all day. Um, but day three, things start feeling like energized and, you know, overall feeling real um, refreshed. And just overall, my moods and everything are usually increased um, to where they're like the normal, happy, normal levels. So, um, and I think that has a lot to do with you wake up, you know you've been doing good. Um, so you're happy with yourself, you know, kind of that subconsciousness taking over there. Um, but anyways, today we're going to kick off lunch with um, some leftovers that I had this weekend. Um, one of the great ways to use up leftovers, especially when you don't have like sides, so when I make a bunch of chicken, I'll usually make like two pounds, um, but my family will only eat about a pound and a half or something that for that dinner. Um, and maybe we'll eat up all the sides. Well, I like to always have my leftover protein in as my lunch the next day. It's just a great way to use up those leftovers and also to pump up that protein. So anyway, don't throw your leftovers away. Eat them. <laughs> I am guilty of that in the past. I, uh, I'm the worst when it comes to leftovers. But lately, with um, meat prices and everything just being so expensive, I'm actually making an effort. So, <laughs> oh, one thing before I go. I'm not a medical doctor, not a healthcare professional. Um, talk to your own doctor. Um, the other thing is if you like to see more inspiration like this and how I'm rewinding my health from morbidly obese to, to a healthy weight, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Um, and then also one quick, I had a one question that was seemed to be a theme on my last video about the protein sparing modified fasting bread um, and why I didn't make stiff peaks. Um, I was in a rush. <laughs> I don't have any reason. Um, I did not feel like I needed to do that and it poured better. So, it, you know, I'm constantly trying to like mess with this recipe and it worked. Turned out taste didn't taste any different than it normally does. So, um, no rhyme or reason. I was just in a rush. Um, it was, I filmed this last week and I believe it was um, the first day of school for my kids and it was just a crazy day. So, more of a time thing. I didn't have time, but uh, hey, it worked and it was fine. So anyways, I'm going to head downstairs and we will start lunch. All right, folks, we have some bacon in the fry pan. It's now lunch and I'm going to cook up a bunch of bacon ahead of time. And then once that's all done, I'm going to cook up the eggs with the bacon grease. So I'll be back for the next step. Bacon is done. Now I'm going to cook my eggs in the leftover bacon grease. And I do keep my bacon grease from what's in the pan and cook with that. So anyways, I'm gonna pop three eggs in here. So it is lunchtime today. We have three chicken tenders, which was around five ounces um, total. And then we have three eggs cooked in the bacon fat and three slices of bacon. All right, it is now afternoon coffee time, which consists of black coffee, one scoop of unflavored collagen by Perfect Keto, and two tablespoons of heavy cream. So now it is dinner time. I usually drink my coffee while I'm having dinner, and I like to use avocado oil to roast my asparagus with, and I aim, when I'm doing asparagus, I usually use about one tablespoon of avocado oil per person. Um, so basically, it, however many people you're eating, you're serving for, just multiply that 
up. And then I'll do about eight ounces of asparagus per person. So then I'm gonna add garlic powder, salt, and pepper um, to the asparagus, preheat my oven to 400 degrees, and basically use my little hands here and um, give it a good mix so that all of the spices are coated. Um, if you wanna add like some lemon or something on there, that, stuff, that tastes good too, but overall just mix it all up so everything's even, spread it on the pan, and stick it in the oven. I'm gonna grill these Costco Kirkland brand grass-fed third pound patties. I'm gonna put the same spices, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and a little chili powder, and grill those up. And here's the finished product of the roasted asparagus. I used one ounce of cheddar cheese on my burger and assembled my plate. So I'm gonna squirt some yellow mustard on there and call it a day. So that is dinner today. Okay, it's dessert time, just had dinner. And I have 170 grams uh, approximately, or three quarters of a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt. And I'm just gonna add a scoop of strawberry collagen. And this tastes so delicious. Um, it's a great way to boost extra protein. Um, there's good stuff in the Greek yogurt for your gut. And I need two hands to <laughs> mix this. That is the finished product of my Greek yogurt dessert. Um, and also, if you don't do coffee, I guess, um, I, using Greek yogurt is another great way to get collagen in. So that is it for today. Let's talk macros. So I, for today was a keto day. So um, I overall had a great attention to detail. Um, remember, we're, we, these are all goals. Um, nothing's exact, but um, I ended up getting 128 grams of protein of 137 grams. So I was nine short. I can live with that. No big deal. Um, uh, fat wise, I was nice and pretty much the sweet spot, 92-ish. Um, calories around 14, 15 of my, my 15, 62 I'm allowed. And around 13 uh, grams of net carb, which was really good. Um, so that consisted of three fried eggs um, in bacon grease with the three slices of bacon and my four ounces of chicken breast, uh, I'm sorry, chicken tenders that I had left over. Um, and then I had the third pound patty that was, that was grass fed beef, um, one ounce of the Vermont cheddar cheese from Boar's Head. I have a tablespoon of avocado oil that I roasted my eight ounces of asparagus in. And then once I looked at my, um, my macros, I realized I was a little short. I threw an egg on top of my patty and I didn't take a new picture, um, but you probably, you know what a, a, a fried egg looks like on top of a hamburger. Um, and then also um, my afternoon coffee is uh, the one scoop of unflavored perfect keto collagen and uh, two tablespoons of heavy cream. And so I've, I've created a recipe in here because I have it all the time. Um, so that's just what I'm talking about. It includes these two things. So I highly suggest if it's a recipe you do all the time, go ahead and make one and so it's saved. Um, but it's two, two tablespoons cream and one scoop of unflavored collagen. That makes up my afternoon coffee. That's why I only see one thing listed here. Um, and obviously for dessert, we had strawberry collagen in my three quarters of a cup of yogurt, Greek yogurt that is. And make sure your yogurt is fat free so that when you're putting your collagen in there, um, you're not going to get over your fat, so and that you're still going to get your protein in a tasty dessert. So, yep. Alrighty, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Congrats on making it to day three, and I'll see you tomorrow at day four. Tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fasting day. So, see you later. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind.